Does anybody actually even watch the intro anymore? I feel like I'm just talking to myself at the beginning of every episode. I feel like most of you guys just skip straight to the setups, but um, yeah, let me know if you guys always sit through the intro because I feel like it's always the same intro every single time. So I guess it would make sense to skip it. But anyways, welcome to Setup Wars episode one. I forgot the number already, crap. Episode 168, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video link down below. But with that said, welcome to, oh my God, I'm messing up already. Let the setup wars begin. Don't pay full price for CD keys, guys. You can pick up a Windows 10 key for just $15 using yourcdkeys.com. And if you use my code TSS2, you will get an extra 10% off. Click the link below to learn more. Kicking off the episode is Alex from Romania and a fairly minimalistic setup featuring three curved monitors that are mounted on the custom made desk that he made himself. Now right off the bat, I would try and cover up the side of the desk that has the wood exposed. Now since the desk is mostly black, I would use electrical tape or black vinyl wrap that you can find on Amazon. Some things on the desk are his HyperX alloy keyboard with cherry red switches. We also got the HyperX Pulsefire FPS mouse and his audio mixer. Speaking of audio, he's got some cheap Chinese speakers. However, he does use his headphones mostly which are hanging underneath his desk. No cables in sight thanks to the backboard and the rest of the cables are managed nicely behind the monitor mount. Although I would try and secure that power brick somehow in case it falls down. I also love that he mounted the boom arm on the actual monitor mount instead of the desk. Doing it this way allows you to extend the arm further to get that perfect angle and plus it looks much cleaner this way. The PC powering the setup is far too big to fit on the desk so we did keep it on the ground and it's got the Ryzen 7 2700X with a GTX 1060 from Inno3D. If there is another recommendation I would give to this setup, it has to do with the wall art. I feel like the two helmets and the red acoustic foams don't really contribute to the setup in any way. I mean the helmets are fine, but maybe change up the acoustic foams by adding another color for contrast or maybe adding a few more and create a cool design with them. It's still a pretty good setup, but it needs some minor tweaks. Thank you Alex for entering. Now here's a clean setup by Chris from California. It's so aesthetically pleasing and its purpose is for gaming, productivity, and watching YouTube videos. So we got a 32 inch 4K monitor mounted on the wall along with his Nintendo Switch. I absolutely love the way he routed the cables from the monitor, the nano leaf panels, and the switch using black raceways and he kept it nice and symmetrical as well. All the cables run down the wall onto the rack that he installed underneath the desk. He even drilled a hole for the keyboard and mouse. Bravo. On the left of the setup we have a caddy with wheels and he's taking advantage of all the extra space to store his controllers and switch games. Up top we got the PC which is equipped with the Ryzen 5 2600 6 core processor and we got the GTX 1060. I do appreciate the attention to detail that Chris has put into the setup as well as sticking with the white and black color scheme. Over there in the right corner is a pickade that he built using the Raspberry Pi and is being held up by a wall mount which is pretty cool although it's in an interesting location. I don't see how that gaming chair would fit in that corner or how it can be comfortable gaming there but regardless this is a super clean setup. Thank you Chris for sharing it with us. Holy guac a moly check this insane setup by Ian from Canada. A sick white and red themed gaming setup featuring an ultra wide and a 4K 50 inch TV up top for watching movies. The desk he's using is the popular Mickey desk with a corner add-on which works perfectly with this setup since he has the extra space to support his PC. He's got a nice set of peripherals also, looks like he's sticking with Asus. He's got the Claymore with the E-Element PBT silver metal keycaps and the Pugio or Pugio, I don't even know how you say that, mouse which is his main mouse for gaming. However, he does have an Asus Spatha that he uses with his laptop or when he needs to go wireless. For audio, he's got a pair of bookshelf speakers and the Asus Strix wireless headset. Now personally, I would have gone with the Kanto YU6s to better match the color scheme and they're a really nice pair of speakers. I've actually used the YU5s for a solid year back then when I built a cell setup and I was a fan of the sound quality. Cables are managed beautifully. The wires from the displays are routed through a wall raceway and into the built-in rack underneath the desk. But he didn't just dump them in there. He actually spent some time organizing it using 3M tape, Velcro, zip ties, and some cable sleeves. I couldn't be more proud. 
And finally, we got the massive semi-water-cooled PC on the right side. This beast has the 8700K with 16 gigs of the Triton Z RGB RAM sticks and the Strix GTX 1080. I mean, of course, it has to be ASUS, right? Everything is practically ASUS in this setup. It also looks like he synced all the RGB lighting together with his music, which is pretty badass. I'm a fan, what can I say? I may be a little biased because of the color scheme, but it's a hell of a setup. Presentation is awesome, organization and cable management is on point, and it just screams personality. I love it. Awesome setup, thank you Ian for blessing our eyeballs with this masterpiece. Coming in at number four is Ludwig van Beethoven, and quite possibly the first setup I've seen on the show to have a PC mounted under the desk sideways. Fascinating. So the desk is custom built by himself with a glass top and there's an actual cutout where you can see inside the PC which is pretty clever until I figured out that there was no easy way of getting inside the PC. I mean what if you need to upgrade or replace parts? It just seems very inconvenient doing it this way. I mean you had plenty of space on the right side of your desk for the PC but I digress. So we have a TV mounted on the wall with a 22 inch monitor underneath that with a LESHP keyboard and a trust gaming mouse. I mean, what kind of a keyboard company calls themselves Leshp? Seriously. He did mount a boom arm holding his newer microphone and a pair of Beats solo headphones hanging from it. And we also have a wall-mounted PS4 with some custom skins. Cable management could be better if he grouped up all the cables together and a cable box to hide the power strip underneath the desk. An interesting setup to say the least with some questionable choices. Either way, thank you Ludwig for entering. Wrapping up the episode is Vince and his super compact blacked out setup that he uses for gaming, photo and video editing, and streaming. The desk is so small, yet he's able to fit his giant PC on there along with two monitors. The determination is definitely there. So basically what he did to get that extra space was he added a Linman tabletop on top of his already tiny Walmart desk and he used a refrigerator and a couple cubes as support. I mean, that's one way to Mickey Mouse it instead of buying a new desk. I do like that he used a monitorizer to make space underneath it to store his speaker and a MacBook Pro while the other monitor is mounted to the desk. He's using the Corsair K95 RGB Platinum keyboard with the G502 Proteus mouse and a few headsets which are hanging underneath the pullout drawer. And of course, we can't forget about the elephant in the room, an old black PC build inside the Cougar Panzer Evo RGB case. I love the carbon fiber accents around the case, and even the RGB fans have them, which looks pretty damn cool. Also extra points for that black suit Superman, and can we please take a moment to appreciate this cable management behind the PC. Wow, I can seriously stare at this all day. I don't know if I approve the Jerry Rig desk setup, but hey, if it works, it works. I mean, who am I to say otherwise? It's nice to see a blacked out setup on the show. Thank you, Vince, for entering. And that does it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys vote in the comment section down below on who has the best desk setup, and I'll announce the winners on my Instagram account. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love your cheekbones, and I will see you in the next one.